as I'm sure most people know, people with moderate severe psoriasis have a higher risk of having cardiovascular events and mortality over time. We think a lot of this relationship between psoriasis and cardiovascular disease is mediated by shared inflammatory pathways. This motivates the obvious hypothesis that perhaps treating psoriasis successfully will result in uh, a lowering of the risk of cardiovascular disease over time. Now, of course, to truly understand events that will change with a new therapy, that takes uh, many years of study to figure that out. So we're conducting a series of, um, of what's called uh, biomarker studies or surrogate marker studies uh, to look at uh, the effects of our, our psoriasis treatments. And in a randomized placebo-controlled trial of secukinumab, uh, we basically showed that it had no impact on aortic vascular inflammation, uh, a measure of future cardiovascular risk in people with psoriasis, and also sort of no to minimal effects on uh, cardiovascular biomarkers in the blood, things like inflammatory pathways, measures of, measures of lipid metabolism, measures of adiposity, <coughs> measures of diabetes. And so I think what we conclude from this data is that the IL-17 pathway doesn't seem to really perturb a lot of the pathways we look at in cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular risk, suggesting that, in fact, the therapy is likely to be very safe uh, for treating people who have a history of cardiovascular disease uh, or you know, not having any relationship with cardiovascular events in the future. That said, uh, larger studies would be necessary to confirm these findings, and it's certainly possible that these therapies could have benefits in the cardiovascular system uh, beyond the mechanisms that we were looking at in our study.